learn about one aspect of a local bank's service to the community. Coming up next on Carolina Point. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Myrtle Beach Marriott Resort at Grand Dunes. We're focused on the 10th annual American Heart Ball to be held here this Saturday. And we're visiting with Scott Plyler of Carolina First Bank. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, Greg. Thank Thanks you for having so me. Thanks so much for coming in. Appreciate you having me on the show. It is so exciting to think about y'all's involvement, not only this year, but so many years in the American Heart Association, as well as so many other charities, and see the excitement. As a big sponsor, Carolina First coming in as a major sponsor this year for the 10th annual Heart Ball. It's uh, it's a big feeling. I know we're just three days away. Sure, we're we're very excited. We have uh, the Heart Association and the Heart Ball has been a been a big uh, charitable event for us in the past, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, had a good time with the Heart Walk and working oh, yeah. with Tammy Eves and raising money and selling uh, hearts in our branches, and and we have a lot of people that are focused on it, and we're really look, looking forward to participating in the in the Heart Ball uh, coming up on the sixth. Yeah, this Saturday, it's amazing. We're just three days away, 82 hours from now. 80, you know. I, Obviously, I'm excited counting down the hours to think, and I'll be coming in tomorrow and checking in with us at this Saturday night's event, Scott. It's going to be incredible. It, it really is, and I think last year they had over, around 1,000 people. It's a huge oh, yeah. event, it's, oh, yeah. uh, and they raised over $200,000. Oh, yeah. And I know uh, I, I spoke with Tammy uh, the other day, and she said that they're shooting for 225 or yeah. 250. So, <laughs> yeah, she keeps on raising the bar. So, uh, but, uh, but that's good. It's, it's a great event for Myrtle Beach, and it goes to a great cause. Um, for the American Heart Association, so we're excited to be able to be involved. Absolutely. Scott, talk about that. You talked about the branches selling those hearts for the Heart Walk, which was held October 11th. You own a lot of branches in Ori and Georgetown County. We sure do. We have uh, approximately 14 branches in Ori and Georgetown County. Uh, we, we get very involved in, in the walk itself. We have a lot of people that uh, enjoy uh, doing the walk, getting their family members, their children. We always put a team together, uh, meet at the pavilion and, and walk together. Um, we sell hearts to our customers and, and, and employees in, in, the, in the branches, and it kind of gives us a way to, to focus on uh, uh, a good cause and, and, and uh, also kind of have some fun with it with, with, some, with a teamwork concept within the branches. So, mm -hmm. so we had a good time with it, and, uh, and we raised, uh, I think, a couple thousand dollars oh, to yeah. win for the cause, and uh, we all participated and walked together and enjoyed it. It's just getting folks out there, and I, I'm just sitting here thinking about that date was 10-11. And it was the flip side of that 11:10, which was just a, a little less than a month later. A, a big, ex, uh, a big excitement came for you and your wife as as y'all's first uh, child was born. That, that's correct. Uh, well, we, our, our son was born on November 11th, uh, November 10th, and uh, it's uh, it's just been an incredible experience. Uh, yeah. As everyone says, you know, someone told me you can't really imagine it until it happens, and that, that is the truth. And uh, we we really enjoyed it, and. Uh, He's uh, three and a half months old and changing daily, and it's, oh, yeah. it's been a big, big experience for us. And, right. and not only is he's changing daily, I'm sure you and Michelle are as well. That's correct. That's we're, right. we're learning trial by error, uh, oh, yeah. and, uh, day by day. But uh, oh, yeah. he's been a he's been a blessing. Uh, been a very good baby, and uh, uh, all the grandparents have enjoyed him, and we've oh, enjoyed yeah. him, and we, we've had a had a big time with him. It's been, it's been great. I know, and, you're, and the grandparents will get more and more as time progresses. It's so sure. exciting for them. That, as all that time passes for them to get involved. We've got a guest next week on the show who's coming in. And I remember one time asking him, what's the greatest part about being a grandfather? And he said, Greg, that term grandchild is right on the money. These are grandchildren. Yeah. And, it, and it, it's so exciting to hear, see the excitement for them, having sure. raised kids and now to see grandchildren on the way. Well, they can take them home and spoil them and do everything they want to and then turn them back over to you. <laughs> and so, uh, so for the discipline part, they get to do all the fun things. That's so. right. But, uh, but that, that's a great part of it. And uh, uh, he's lucky and we're lucky that he has uh, some, some grandparents and, uh, and he'll be able to be around and, uh, and have a, a great childhood experience with him. Absolutely. Scott, I saw that you were now the North Coastal Regional Executive. Am I correct That's on that? Correct. For, That's correct. Uh, is it overseeing 19 different branches yes. up and down from Wilmington down into Georgetown? That's correct. It's How do from, you uh, do it? From Wilmington to, uh, we have uh, three offices in Wilmington, some surrounding areas of Hampstead and Jacksonville, North Carolina, right. and then 14 branches along the Grand Strand in Georgetown. So uh, we're kind of kind of spaced out, but uh, 
we uh, we do a lot of things uh, via conference call. We, right. we we meet weekly, you know, email, conference call, and a lot of the things that uh, that uh, over the past five years that have developed oh, yeah. make communication a lot easier. In, uh, mm-hmm. in 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 order to because of geographic uh, distance, right. you can't be in a different branch every sure. day. So, All the time. Uh, but uh, we. Uh, we, we have a, a great presence in those branches. Most of the branches were really from the Carolina Anchor merger, which took place in June of 2000. Okay. And so um, uh, it's been a great mix. Uh, we're, we're in some, some great growing areas in Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, uh, the northern part of Myrtle Beach. Um, it just a, a lot of expansion going on, and, uh, and, and it's been great markets to be in. And, oh, yeah. And we, uh, we, we have fairly mature branches, branches that have been, most of our branches have been established for, 15 years or, or so. And what a great name, Carolina First. You can take advantage of the excitement both in the Tar Heel State as well as the Palmetto State without calling it Tar Heel First or Palmetto yeah. First. I mean, you've got that excitement of being able to serve both states so well. That's correct. And that's it, worked well for us. And uh, mm-hmm. I think it suits the name of the bank because we uh, we, we put Carolina First. So right. it's, it's been a been a, a, a great great merger and a great deal. Oh, yeah. Scott, about yourself, were you originally from uh, the area? I'm, I'm originally from a small town, um, South Carolina native, originally from Lancaster, South Carolina, mm-hmm. which is uh, about 40 miles south of Charlotte. Mm-hmm. And I uh, grew up there, went to high school in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and uh, went to college at the um, University of South Carolina in Columbia, mm-hmm. and then uh, moved here in uh, 1993. So I've been here about 11 years. Right out of school almost. That's correct. Yeah. So. I think I saw your degree was in marketing there at the University of South That's Carolina. Right. Did you always thought that... You were possibly going to get into banking, or did you, had you thought about some different avenues? Uh, at first, when I first went to college, I actually thought I might want to be in the the, the dental program, and uh, and ended up uh, it, banking was uh, kind of fascinating to me. I, I worked for South Carolina National Bank at the time as a teller right. in their commercial vault uh, here in Myrtle Beach for a couple summers. Mm-hmm. Um, the the people there were very. Uh, uh, willing to work with me and let me learn different aspects of the bank, you know, right. take me around to the loan area and, and talk to me a lot about, uh, you know, what goes on in a bank and I got very interested in it and uh, right. so kind of, I could say midway through my sophomore year I kind of changed my focus and uh, mm-hmm. took a lot of finance classes but actually got my degree in marketing. Degree was in marketing but you took a lot of finance classes and I think I saw later in, in the mm-hmm. 90s you received, a, is it a master's in finance there at LSU? Uh, that's right. I went through. They have a graduate school of banking at, at, at uh, LSU, and um, basically go down three weeks uh, a year and, and uh, take classes and take a few tests and, and uh, interact with people from all over the country. And actually, uh, we're, we're starting to get some international students that are coming in there, which is very interesting to hear what the economy is like in Spain and uh, Mexico and, and some of these other other countries. But uh, the rest of it's through take-home studies. You do. Mm-hmm basically six uh, projects a, a year that you send in through take home and then and, and basically uh, get your degree in it. It's very interesting to hear what other economies and, and other people uh, across the country are uh, were, are facing or uh, what kind of loans they make or and, uh, cash management and, and it's very, very interesting to hear about other, other industries that might not be in South Carolina. Right, sure. Well that must be exciting for you of course to see that and, and when, when you think about that obviously for a for most of our viewers who go into a bank to get loans or to make deposits, there's not all the machinations you get involved in on much more progressive transactions where a lot of things are happening. What's that like for you to be able to experience and see that side that are going on in other states? Sure. It's uh, it's, it's just interesting uh, just to see some of the different, you know, the, there's, there's a lot of other states in the southeast, Atlanta or maybe Dallas, Texas or in the northeast where you have some very heavy, you know, industry and, and, and Huge co- uh, corporations like maybe Shell Oil or right. Exxon or oh, yeah. and, uh, Coca-Cola, you know, and, and to hear, you know, how they do their financing and uh, and and, and uh, participate in capital markets and so forth. So that was an in- interesting part for me because I we, we don't really have that along along Myrtle Beach. Right. Whereas I think it was interesting for them to hear, you know, kind of how we deal with the tourism industry and how it is a vital aspect of uh, of our economy for the state and uh, you know how we lend money on on different different types different types of industries and than what they have. Yeah, Myrtle Beach is much different than so many other areas. I, I mean, as it relates to lending, and I know there's aspects, I think I remember talking to a guy who'd been at Wachovia, which had, which had done so much for so many of the hotels, for instance, on the Strand, 
And when First Union was purchased in Wachovia, they more or less put a kibosh on a lot of the old loans that were happening, which really caused some big, I mean, because First Union wasn't sure. familiar necessarily with the kind of lending that was happening with Wachovia, formerly South Carolina National, down here at the beach. It, it takes a little while for larger non-Myrtle Beach area banks to learn really how, how you all do it and do it so well. That's correct. And, and some, some, of the, uh, some of the larger corporations are really not comfortable in the commercial real estate market, whereas we are, and that's been a, a, a bread and butter uh, part of our business. And, uh, you know, we, we basically feel that if we can't get comfortable in the coastal areas uh, with commercial real estate or real estate development, real estate lending, then, uh, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot of other things to do. A lot of it is tied to real right. estate, and, right. and we feel very comfortable uh, with, with the coastal area and the uh, the trends of the appreciation in the, in the property. And, mm -hmm. and you can just see developments such as this and oh, all the yeah. development that has gone on in the past uh, 10 to 15 years. Um, there's a lot of opportunity there, and, and, and luckily, we have a lot of people in our bank that uh, have a lot of experience of lending money on the coast and and have good ties to uh, to customers here and it's a it's just been a, it's been a great part of our business. Scott, how are how are loans made? I mean, just how, how do y'all go through that process? Give viewers a kind of behind the scenes aspect of what goes on. Is it always collateral? I mean, is that is that always the big push for y'all when you're thinking about a potential can and how you're going to make a loan? Let's say it's on a, a Restaurant or in Myrtle sure. Beach area, it, it, it uh, collateral play, plays a part in it, but it's not solely based on collateral. It's really based on the uh, the type of business, the the character of the people that are running the business. The uh, in, in my opinion, you know, you want to make sure that the the management of running the business is is there. Um, what they're asking for makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, what their uh, what kind of re repayment schedule that they're looking for mm -hmm. makes sense, and we try to sit down with them and really. We, we, we approach we approach the situation as you know we, we want to be your business partner we want to sit down and, and really try to learn about your business we're, we're not going to know as much about your business as you do but uh, we want to try to learn as much as we can about it so that we can be a business partner in, in this deal which we are and in a lot of cases in a lot of cases you know the bank has more of, from a financial aspect interest in it as far as equity than, than the than the actual owner so oh, yeah. we, we want to, to work with them and uh, and I think we've done a good job of doing that. We, uh, we, all of our, in, in all areas of uh, South Financial Group or Carolina First, mm -hmm. um, we have, we have a framework where we don't have a whole lot of tiers and 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 different hoops that you have to go through. We, we've really got some some great local decision making processes there. We have a lot of expertise, whether it's in Greenville or Columbia or Wilmington or Myrtle Beach or Charleston. We have people that live in the market know the very familiar with the customers oh, yeah. and, and therefore that, that makes it a lot easier than trying to uh, centralize a credit area w you know uh, whether that would be in Greenville or Charlotte or wherever you want to mm -hmm. want to do that mm -hmm. and for us it's worked a lot better to, to have our local decision making in the market where we're trying to make the loan and and that really helps on the customer customer part too you know they want we, we can deliver them better turnaround time we can we can talk to them when the decisions made you know, locally, and, and I think that uh, even though the bank has grown to now to be a $10 billion bank, I think we've done a, a tremendous job, in my opinion, to mm -hmm. make the customer feel uh, that w we want to disguise that. You know, we, we, we do have the size to make a $35 million loan if we want to wow. make it, yeah. but we make a lot of $2,000 loans, yeah. okay? So, yeah. and, and we're fine with making a, a car loan, home equity loans, mm -hmm. uh, a residential mortgage, you know, really a lot, a lot of our uh, clients in in, the, in this area are, you know, five hundred thousand dollars or less. Right. So, right. and that, that's a lot of our client base. So, we we have not lost focus on that at, at all. How exciting! That must feel good. And to, and to be able to keep so many of those decisions make, making, I mean, many of those decisions made here at home. Sure. And not to have to send that through. And you mentioned part of the South Financial Group. South Financial Group is huge. I mean, it's a $10 billion group. It's based in Greenville, of course. I, I think it is the largest South Carolina-based uh, banking facility. Am I correct? That's correct. Okay. We are. We, uh, uh, South Carolina National Bank was the largest bank in, in uh, the history of South Carolina to be headquartered in South Carolina, mm -hmm. and the South Financial Group with Carolina First being that, that arm of uh, under the South Financial Group uh, right. is the largest bank to be headquartered in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. we're proud of that. Uh, we... Um, we uh, of course, uh, have a lot of interest in South Carolina and, yeah. and it, over 70 branches across the state. Wow! And so uh, we uh, we work hard to, to to have them here, and we feel like that that, that we do. So. Mm -hmm. um, 
to, to go back to your question though, of how it feels, it, it's it, that's what I like about my job is that we're able to to uh, get down and, and you learn a little bit about a lot of a lot of different businesses. Mm-hmm. Um, you get to talk to the person that's bu- maybe buying their first home, uh, helping helping us uh, uh, a couple. Uh, pay for college for their for their uh, children, you know, all kinds of things, and then, and then hopefully, you know, open up accounts for the children and and, and bank them too. And, and we have a, a lot of people where we have two and three generations of customers where we're wow. where we're going in and, and banking them, and, uh, and and that's what it's about, in, in my opinion. That must be that must be a really rewarding feeling every day. Waking up when you're not waking up to your son's cries. That's right. You're waking up knowing that uh, that today I can make an impact on someone's life who's probably going through the same things I'm going through right now, having to wake up with a, ch- a child in the middle of the night, sure. still get back to work, get enough, I mean, back to sleep, get enough sleep so that I can get in and keep the restaurant going. That's right. That's that, right. That must be a great feeling. Golly, Scott, of course, that aspect, I, I think I saw South Financial Group also has another branch, Mercantile Bank, that they operate down in Florida. So it's primarily Carolina First in that aspect of the Greenville. But you all are making, you know, you said Anchor and Carolina First merged in June of 2000, so it'll be four years this June. That's correct. Okay. And that and that's turned out to be a to be a great that was a great merger and uh, mm-hmm. uh, Mac Whittle and Steve Christ and the board of directors of uh, Carolina First and Anchor Bank uh, had the vision to put that together and uh, mm-hmm. and, it, and it's really been a been a great merger and a, and a great mix. Um, uh, Anchor had a great presence along the coast. Right. Carolina First had a great presence inland in the upstate and in the Midlands. Right. And we've merged those two teams together and, uh, and, and been able to uh, uh, work great as a team. And oh, yeah. I think it's been a, been a great merger. And I was, we were just talking about in the bank uh, yesterday, you know, uh, in June of 2000, uh, it, an Anchor shareholder, basically uh, the, the, the spread was 2.175 shares of Carolina First stock or the South Financial Group for Anchor Anchor Bank stock, and the right. price was 31.50. Well, the price went to 31 dollars this week. So basically, in, in in this type of economy and some of the things that we've struggled, um, we still, if you're an Anchor shareholder, you you basically doubled your investment in three and a half years. Wow! And increased your and your dividend. So it's a it's, it's been a fairly phenomenal event, and uh, to be able to have your stock appreciate in the low 30s uh, average. 30 percent, you know, average for the past three years, I think, is a is a is, is a great great that accomplishment. Is, that is, that must feel good as well. I mean, aside from waking up and knowing that you make a difference in, in a potential, uh, bar, to know that you're really making a difference for for the shareholders, sure. the stockholders, the ones in local communities like Myrtle or like the PD or throughout the, the entire coast of the Carolinas. That's right, and, and and that's what it's about to uh, to earn money for the shareholders who have invested in your company and serve the community, you know, that that, that you're uh, that you're banking in. And uh, I think we do a good mix of that, and I think that uh, uh, I think many of the shareholders are pleased. I, I, haven't, I haven't received too many phone calls <laughs> recently with, with people not being pleased, no, so uh, no. w- w- which is good. And and the, and the other exciting aspect of that is when when Anchor and Carolina First merged. We were basically a five billion dollar bank, so right. not only have we, we we had some great uh, appreciation in our stock value, but we've we've also doubled in size in the past uh, three years. So mm-hmm. you know, a lot of times when you're growing that rapidly, uh, you don't have the same uh, you, you might not get the same return as far as uh, on your investment. And we've been able to have a, a good mix of that. And our upper management of our company's done a great job mm-hmm. of uh, of recognizing uh, uh, we've we've had some some good internal growth. But also recognizing when we can make a make an acquisition and it will be uh, accretive to the earnings, then then we word Scott for most of our viewers accretive to it to our earnings. And, I mean that that's a big deal. But the simple fact is y'all are just doing really well. Well, y'all are doing really well, and that's very important. I went to y'all's website, the CarolinaFirst.com site, just last night. Quote: Our values are what allow us to remain a community bank while at the same time offering big bank services. And when you're talking about, of course, Anchor was a super community bank, and Carolina First is even a bigger, bigger community bank. But to be able to maintain that focus of providing that, that one-on-one interaction with, uh, with the folks you all serve, that, that's what it's all about. That's correct. And we try to, uh, we try to give uh, a, a, 
any of our customers, you know, we want them to know their banker and, and there's a lot of things about personal banking service and relationship manager. Give them a contact of, of who they who they bank with, but you know, they can come see a lot of us have multiple clients that we deal with as far as uh, for, for different things and whoever they feel comfortable with or so, somebody might approach them at an event such as the or, or or be out to dinner and, and and that's fine as long as the customer is being being served is is really our, our primary concern and we try not to break off in a lot of segments to say okay this particular person is going to do loans from a hundred thousand dollars or less mm -hmm. and this particular person is going to do this and this we we uh we literally have, have cases where someone will walk in the door or you just close a, a loan for someone for $5,000 and you might be working with another customer an hour later for a million dollars and he's dealing with the same person and, uh, and I think that that's, uh, that's worked well for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scott, that, that aspect of you know, bringing in, uh, being in a bank on a, on, a, on a regular basis, it's been more than a decade for you now. This has, been, this has been quite a while, being in and out in the community and constantly making a difference. It, it must be incredible. Well, I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've, I've really enjoyed my career, and I can't believe uh, I've been doing it about 12 years, and it's gone by, gone by uh, very fast. And through uh, the Anchor Carolina First merger, I've been uh, blessed to be with the same company about 10 years now. Right. And uh, we've changed a lot. And. Uh, uh, change some of the structure that in the ways we the ways that we do business the banking industry as a whole yeah. has changed a lot over the past 12 years from when I from when I first started with, oh, with yeah. Wachovia Bank it's just totally different as far as uh, creating sales culture and and, uh, and and having even our teller area you know ha uh, talking to people uh, frontline people about mm -hmm. selling products and, and, and this and that and the other right. so it's, it's really changed a lot but uh, it's, it's been a very fulfilling for me. I enjoy my job. I get out of bed every day and want to go to work. And I think that uh, when, if you enjoy what you do, it should show when you're out meeting with your clients and dealing with your customers. And hopefully, uh, it, it, it does show with with me. Yeah, the 12 years in banking and the 10 years with the same company is going to it's flown by much like the first 10 years of your son's life. You're That's correct. Careful. That's correct. You yes, and uh, uh, you and Michelle, the excitement for y'all. What's it? What's it like now? It's uh it, it's it's been very exciting for us. Uh, he he's uh, brought a just a whole new aspect to our to our home, and uh, uh, it's just you know, it's different when you go home at go home at night and you're ready to get home to, to see him, or right. whether whether like this morning I went and picked him up out of his bassinet, and he's really getting to a certain age where he's recognizing you and smiling, oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. it's uh it's just it's it just changes every day, and uh and, and everybody will tell you that you know it's going to go by really fast, and so you try to keep a conscious effort to keep it in your mind, you know, that to, to, to salvage it, you know, every every moment that you can with them because it really is a special time. I wonder if he'll get involved in banking. I, I don't know. He uh, I, uh my, my father was in banking, and I've been in banking, and banking's been around our family for for a long time. So. Uh, 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 he's going to be exposed to it, whether he really is, wants to pursue that avenue or not. Yeah. Uh, if he did, I think it would be great. But if not, of course, we'll support him sure. with whatever he wants to do. Now, your wife had been at Cable Ad Sales, am I correct? That's Time right. Warner. That's right. Time Warner Cable Ad Sales. So she, I mean, she's in a she's in a medium, and of course, you've been a marketing major in college. So I guess your son can really get into anything. Well, that's right. That's, that's right. right. He he might want to pursue the, the avenue that, that she's been in, and she she uh, worked for Time Warner for about eight eight or nine years or so. Wow. So yeah. she sold advertising and uh, right. was a uh, very active in the community as oh, yeah. well. And oh, yeah. uh, um, it, it very, very much enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I think about those great print ads, as well as the TV spots that Carolina First has been doing. Think about the excitement for some of your clients, whether it's key clients or, I mean, just the folks like Shaw Dargan and others. Seeing those print ads and the excitement of a bank like Carolina First for them, that ability to really give back to the community has meant so much, and that's why part of the thrill for us is highlighting y'all's involvement in this 10th annual Hardball coming up this Saturday. It's, it, it really is exciting, Scott. We appreciate everything you all are doing. Well, thank you for thank you for having us, and, and we're excited to be involved with it. And uh, the print ads, the testimonial ads that we have oh, yeah. from some of our clients, uh, we received a lot of positive recognition about that, and, oh, yeah. and we really uh, um, and I think our customers enjoy doing it. And, uh, got to. And so, uh, though, I, I would I would probably foresee in the future we would we would maybe do some, something else like that. We yeah. had a lot of a lot of positive responses from the community and and from people coming calling in and saying, you know. I enjoy seeing Shaw Dargan in the yeah. paper, or, or <laughs> Zeb Thomas, or right. um, and and and, uh, and I, th I thought they were they were great ads 
and, and whoever came up with the concept and the idea was it was a great idea. Do you have a favorite, Scott? A favorite ad? Of the, I mean, there's so many of them. I think at Gull's website, again, it had a lot of them laid out. Folks from all over, I guess the Carolinas, all over the area. Do you have a favorite one, or are they all just... You Not really. Them? You yeah. know, I, I know some of some yeah. of the customers better than the, the others, ones along the, the uh, Myrtle Beach, Georgetown area, but uh, um, I can't say I really have a favorite. Right, right. They, they, I thought they all turned out, they turned all out really well. Great. Right. Absolutely. That was very smart. It's kind of, when you think about inspirations for you, getting into banking and now really making this a career, now more than a decade in it, can you feel back? You mentioned your dad was in banking. Is that... Has that been a big inspiration for you to stick it out and get real involved in the community? Sure, it's uh, definitely been been a big inspiration to me, and uh, uh, I've enjoyed it from from day one. And it's uh, it, it's it's been a goal, and I, I don't see see myself doing anything else. I just I really really enjoy it, the the banking industry and being involved in the community and working with people on a daily basis. It's that excitement, of course, being inspired by his dad at an early age, now by his three-and-a-half-month-old son and wife, the excitement of going back to that, that simple message at the Carolina First website of we believe in serving the communities on a daily basis. And they're doing just that in support of events like the 10th Annual American Heart Ball to be held here this Saturday night. Scott, thanks so much for being with us Thank this you, morning. Thank you, We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Stay tuned to more Carolina People coming up next. We want to thank Scott Plyler and all the employees at Carolina First Bank for working so hard to be a vital part of the communities in which they serve. Look for them this Saturday night at the 10th Annual American Heart Ball here at the Myrtle Beach Marriott Resort.